If you're looking for a job at the Yuma Police Department, could be your next employer. The law enforcement agency held an open house this afternoon as they ramped up the recruitment process. Our Cody Lee joins us with what positions they're trying to fill. Cody. April, good evening. Here at the police station today, it was a one-on-one -on -one with 911 for those interested in answering calls from residents all over the city. And it was also an opportunity to get your questions answered and be instructed on how to save lives one call at a time. We have some of our dispatchers that go on to be officers and public safety support technicians and our chief of police and our deputy chief of police were once dispatchers themselves. The duties of a dispatcher is to answer emergency and non-emergency calls for service. The very first person someone speaks to when calling 911. We've got crimes in progress that people are reporting. We've got non-emergency calls where there might be a delayed burglary. Somebody's got an, their dog is missing um, or they're reporting a fraud. So it's everyday calls like the non-emergency incidents or those high-level emergencies that they're answering the call for. During the calls, they're detailing everything out into a computer database. Knowledge of technology is a big plus as there are several different systems dispatchers use during calls. And we have a quick test that it's a typing test and then a data entry test to test how fast they're able to translate the words that they're hearing or seeing into um, typing form. They're also working closely with the officers on the ground, providing assistance and information. They're that lifeline to those services that get dispatched to, the, to eventually help them get through whatever crisis they're in. And we need compassionate, dedicated, skilled people to be on the other end of that phone 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Dispatchers work with police, fire, emergency medical services, animal control agencies, and the public as a whole. The agency hopes to hire 15 people. However, there are some stipulations. If you've been convicted of a felony, you are not able to apply and you won't be getting the job if you have illegally used any drugs within the past year. And for a complete list of certification requirements, physical demands, and other disqualifications, you can head on over to our website, kyma.com. We have a link on our homepage. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Cody Lee. Back to you. Thanks for that, Cody.